If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha, everybody. You know what time it is, Kai? Uh, turkey time. Yeah. It's turkey time, and I know all of you are looking for the best turkey recipe, and this Butter Lovers turkey recipe is the best. Now, what you're going to want to do is turn your oven on to 450 and put the rack in the very bottom. Take out all the other racks because this turkey is going to be big. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's on the bottom rack when you do this, okay? And we have our beautiful Butcher Box turkey, and you know what's really cool? If you sign up for Butcher Box now with the link below, you get a free turkey just in time, a heritage turkey just in time for turkey time. And you're going to want some cheesecloth for this recipe. But what we need to do is, Kai, we need to cut the turkey open and we need to pat it dry, okay? Pat the turkey really, really dry. Let's get her out here. She is a beaut, Clark. She is a beaut. Do you know what that's from? What? Christmas vacation. Yeah. Watch it. Turkey, turkey time. All right, so we're gonna take this out, okay? And pat it dry with paper towels, nice and dry, okay? And the inside too, okay? The inside? Yep, the inside too, okay? So pat it dry for me. <laughs> and take all of the giblets out, and you can set that aside for another, um, I was thinking about doing a, uh, oh, that's gonna pop out when it's done, okay? Ooh, there we go. We're going to take this out. I'm going to set this over here, okay? We got the liver and the heart and all that, okay? So, you want to pat the inside dry too, okay? All right. Yeah, you're going to pat that dry, okay? And then, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so now you're going to take the lemon and slice it into some wedges, okay? And the wedges are going to go right into the cavity of the turkey. It gets that, Ooh, some nice lemon. and citrus, yeah. I like some, lemon. I bought a, I have a bunch of them. So Kai, why don't you put that in the cavity, okay? And we're gonna season the yeah. inside, yep, we're gonna season the inside with about a half a teaspoon of salt too, okay? okay. So we're gonna season the inside, all right, with some salt. There we go. You shove that on in there, okay? And we also want a few sprigs of thyme, and you want a couple sprigs of sage. Okay, so we're going to stuff this all in there. Okay. You're not eating that, are you? Am I doing this, or are you stuffing the lemons in there? Yeah. Stuff the lemons in there, my friend. <laughs> and we're going to do some onion, okay? We're going to slice the onion. How am I going to slice the onion? Yeah. All right, we're gonna slice the onion into some wedges. Six wedges, all right? There we go. And we're gonna take the outside off. And can you put three of these on the inside, Kai? On the inside, like this? Yeah, can you shove that on in? Will it fit? Ah, oh, let's see. I might have too much lemon in there. All right. You need to be bigger. It needs to be bigger. Okay. All right. We're going to get this and this and this in there. Okay. So now what you're going to do, this is where the butter lovers part comes into play. Kai, can you, um, some of this needs to go in the garbage. It's hard to be clean on the videos. Um, okay. So now you want four tablespoons of softened butter. And I have roasted garlic, but you could use raw garlic if you want to. My roasted garlic, I did a YouTube video on how I do this because roasted garlic is a little bit more mild. Yeah. Kids usually like it a little better, better. And you're gonna just squirt, we want one clove into that. And if you use raw garlic, you can use raw garlic. And then you can save that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a fork and you're just gonna stir in the garlic, okay? And this is where the butter lovers comes into play. What you're going to do is start at the breast and you're going to start lifting the skin up because you want, um, let's see, you want to slowly, gently lift the skin up because you want some of this deli delicious butter. Use your fingers to just, it comes loose. See that, Kai? Yeah. 
I know, everybody's like, what's going on? I've never made a turkey before. And you're gonna get that turkey, or get that garlic butter right on into the inside. I'm gonna actually remove this because we're gonna use an actual, use a real thermometer because those things fail and then turkey day is not good. You're going to remove your fork and just use your hands and get that garlic butter right on in there. Lots and lots of butter. Probably should have taken my wedding ring off first. And you're gonna do that on both sides. Get right on into that leg if you can. I might be a little quick on this since we're doing a video here. All right. <laughs> you like that? All right. And you know what's funny? Do you think that the Native Americans and, you know, the whole Columbus thing, do you think they really had turkey, Kai? I think they had venison. Yeah. Venison. Venison's better, right? Uh -huh. Oh no, we're not making any friends. So you're gonna just shove this butter in here and it's going to just make that the bird, the backbone, the backbone. So just shove that on in there. Yum, yum, yum. We should have some holiday music. Can you sing for us? I got nothing. You got nothing? <laughs> Come on, everybody loves watching you on these videos, Mr. Funny Man. Okay, so now if you have any on your hands, you can just rub it on the outside, okay? Any of the extra. All right. I'm not spanking it anymore. You're not spanking it anymore, okay. All right, I'm gonna take some time to wash my hands here. I want to do the limit. Okay. All right. You see these two okay. women in a glimpse of the video. <laughs> okay. Like, what are you doing? So now, so this was just um, a different thing we're going to set in here. So we're going to now set it into our real turkey pan. Here we go. Um, and into the bottom, you're going to set the rest of the onion. Okay. You want more lemon in there, Kai? Yeah. You want more lemon? What? <laughs> in the bottom. Here. We'll put some lemon in there. Actually, we'll take it out. Um, and we're going to put our celery in there. I'm going to cut the celery. The lemon tastes good. Does it? Mm -hmm. Into fourths. Just nice long sticks. Throw that on in there. This is going to be the part where we're going to make our gravy. And we're going to add one and a half cups uh, you could use turkey broth if you have it. I have chicken broth and I'm using my kettle and fire broth because I just love it so much. Real bone broth. One and a half cups go on in there. And did I remember everything? I need to salt the bird. So first put that on. <gasps> Ooh, cheesecloth. Shoot. Give me the knife. The, chop, chop. the onion one is too big. Leaky, leaky. Okay. And I'm going to salt the bird. And you're going to want a lot of salt. I mean, make sure you use plenty of salt for the whole thing. Salt the entire thing. We love our Redmond Real Salt, you know. Redmond Real Salt is from the ancient sea caves of Utah, so there's no microplastics. You know how the seas are just filled with mercury and all that stuff? This one is not. So now I am going to, what's up? What? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Um, now I'm going to set it on here. Kai, can you take this pan and put it in the sink? Thank you, yeah. buddy. And you're going to want one and a half cups of melted butter. Yes, I said that right. One and a half cups of melted butter. Wow. Okay. Make sure that the legs are tied. This, <laughs> this, uh, the legs are already tied here. See? Make sure that they are tied when you do that. That was... And now you want a very large piece of cheesecloth. That one. And you're going to fold it in force. <laughs> he doesn't care about the turkey at all, do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you like Thanksgiving? Uh -huh. You do? I do too. I get to hang out with all my cousins. Yep, and it's not about presents. It's just about being thankful. And hanging out with some people. You know, a sad story. 
my grandpa Vince died on Thanksgiving morning. He did. Yep. But it just makes me... Vince? Grandpa Vince. You never got, never got to meet him. He had his first heart attack at 32, which is why I'm very passionate about helping people. So you want a nice big piece of cheesecloth, okay? And now we're going to dip it into the melted butter, okay? There we go. And that is going to go all over the turkey, all right? So try to coat it totally well. All right, and then you're still going to have some melted butter out here, so you can just Use your turkey baster and baste that, okay? All right, there we go. And we're just going to add all that on there. All right, so now this is going to go into that 450 degree oven for 30 minutes, okay? And after 30 minutes, you're going to lower the temperature to 350. Now, make an alarm on your phone so you don't forget, because I would forget. And you're gonna baste every 30 minutes for another two hours, at 350 for two hours. And then, after two hours, you're gonna take the cheesecloth off and baste the turkey one more time and cook it for another 30 minutes. And we're gonna teach you how to make the gravy when we come back next. It's turkey time yeah. and look at our beautiful turkey. It is beautiful. Yeah. Now make sure to test it with a thermometer to know when it is finished. But now it is beautiful. It is golden. Um, if the cheesecloth sticks at all, make sure to baste it to get it off. And what we're going to do now is make the gravy. Kai, could you get a whisk? You're going to put a half a cup of butter. Yes, we need more butter. It's Thanksgiving into this sauce pot. Oh, that's a, that's a, a whisk, buddy. Do you know what a whisk is? You know what a whisk is. Teach your kids how to cook, right? Is it clean? All right, you want half a cup butter and you're going to brown the butter. You don't need to stir it just yet. I know you love to open cream cheese. You want to I open it? I want it everywhere. <laughs> and what we're going to do is I'm going to transfer the turkey onto my beautiful platter here. Oh, it's kind of sticking. All right, we let it rest for a while. Make sure to let it rest for 30 minutes before you um, carve into this beautiful turkey. And if you want free turkey, I'll have the link below. ButcherBox, you sign up for ButcherBox, which I love because I don't have to go to the store. Um, I have a freezer filled with beautiful meat and you can find that link below. And even, you unplugged it, my friend, even if you are already a ButcherBox member, do know that you can order your turkey from them and you don't have to wrestle with the stores being out. Um, what I'm going to do, all of these beautiful drippings are going to go into here. Some of them will evaporate just because of the cooking process. There we go. All of that delicious flavor. I'm gonna add some of these onions that are caramelized and some celery that's caramelized. Some of it's a little too brown. There we go. Some of them have just evaporated. There we go. Now I'm gonna set this aside. So with browning the butter, you want it very, very hot and have a whisk handy. This butter is sizzling right now and it gets real quiet and it's going to foam up and little brown bits are going to start. And this is when you want the whisk handy because it can, uh, if you have a hot spot on your pan, it will br uh, burn it. Um, but then you also want some cream cheese handy. Brown. It's getting brown. Yep. Keep, keep whisking, my friend. Yep. Okay. That looks good. And then turn the heat off. Keep whisking because it will keep browning. And I'm going to add my cream cheese to this mixture. There we go. This is called brown butter. It is the best gravy. 
And I'm also going to add all of the drippings here. Here, let's move this over a little bit. Okay. There we go. And Kai loves to use my stick blender, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. So you can get rid of the whisk. And then this is my, I don't know, it's cheap. It's perfect. And you just put that in there and you start blending it up. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out. Now, if it's very thick, which it probably will be, um, you're gonna add more chicken broth and I'm using, um, or if you have turkey broth, go for it. To thin it out. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, and you can add as much as you want, um, depending on how thin you want it to be. And, oh, we got a little celery stuck in there, that's okay. And then you're going to, I have this really cute dish. What are we doing with that? We are going, well, we're gonna have, let people ladle it on. I have this really cute pumpkin dish. Isn't that cute? Um, we usually serve chili in it, but I don't have a gravy bowl, so I'm gonna pour that right on in there. And this, would be the brown butter gravy that you can serve with this. This is the best gravy I ever had. There's no flour in it. It actually tastes good. It's not gelatinous. It will thicken overnight if you do make this ahead of time, if you end up making the turkey ahead of time. That's what my parents do. But Kai, you made your first turkey. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to say? Uh, cook with your kids. Mahalo. Mahalo. Sharon is caring. Share this video with your friends.